video, I'm going to walk you through how to use TradingView. First of all, if you don't have TradingView, go to tradingview.com and sign up for an account. It's free. You don't have to pay anything to open up an account. Um, you can get pretty much all the features just with the, uh, the free unpaid version. And uh, if you're brand new, welcome. This is going to be something that you will need uh, every single day in your trading journey from this point forward if you want to become a full-time day trader and this will become your best friend very very quickly so guys uh first and foremost this is the home page uh, obviously you guys can see uh different components to it now what you'll want to do to look at the charts is you'll come over here click on products and click on chart so this will actually pull you into the live markets you can look at literally any market under the sun in uh in trading view so whether it's a stock whether it's crypto a forex pair um, oil gold silver you can look at pretty much any chart and you can change the chart you're looking at simply by just typing uh typing directly on the uh platform so if i wanted to just look at bitcoin i'll type btc and it'll pull up all the different uh you know bitcoin options i can just look at uh just normal bitcoin versus the us dollar for example so if i pull that open and i go to like the daily chart you guys can see this is the chart for uh, Bitcoin. And at the time of this video, we're right around $21,000, uh, on the way back up for Bitcoin now, but let's say you wanted to look at, uh, Tesla, right? You could just type in Tesla and find obviously the, uh, the right ticker and you can see the, uh, the Tesla stock. Now, uh, obviously most of you watching this are probably going to be part of the FRX pack, um, or TBX or DCX. So you'll want to be looking at Forex pairs. So obviously, uh, a forex pair is one currency versus another, right? So, um, for example, an educator that you're talking to or on a session with might be looking at USD CAD. So the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. So I could just type in USD CAD and click on, you know, uh, one of the USD CAD options and pull open the chart. So this is the daily chart, like I said, guys. So all that means is every candlestick, because every one of these little boxes that you see, this is representing price of whatever currency or asset we're looking at. So as you guys can see, price is going up, price is going down. On my chart, the green candles mean price is going up and black means the price is going down. You can change the colors of your candles literally by just double tapping the uh, the candlesticks themselves. You can change the colors of them if you want to make it you know, your own. Um, but just know that on this example, green is going up, black means it's coming down. And when I say we're looking at the daily chart, what that means is every candle represents one day of time. And same would be true if I were to drop down to a one hour chart. On the one hour chart, every candle represents one hour of movement of price in that time, right? And you can do this with every time frame. So you can go all the way down to the one minute chart or the five minute chart, whatever it might be. And you can look at all these different um, candles. You can look at these different time frames um, to really put together a rock solid analysis from a higher time frame perspective, all the way down to uh, literally the one minute time frame um, and even lower than that. But uh, that is neither here nor there. But what I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> um, in terms of, you know, what this really means looking at it from first glance, just so you guys understand what this really means when you're looking at a chart, because I know it can be overwhelming at first. Uh, when you're trading Forex, all it is is you're trading one currency against uh, against another currency. And just so you're aware, um, in a currency pair, so in this example, USD versus the Canadian dollar, um, the first currency in the pair is always one. And the second currency in the pair is what's going to tell you uh, how much the, that currency is worth versus the first currency in the pair. So for example, in this case, one US dollar right now is equivalent to, if you look over here, 1.339 Canadian dollars. And you can do this with every single currency pair. So right now, uh, one Australian dollar is equivalent to 0, uh, 0.69884 USD. Um, you can do this with every currency pair, like I said, Euro CAD, Euro GBP. And just so you guys know what's going on, when you see price going up, that means the first currency in the pair is getting stronger versus the second. And when you see it going down, that means the second currency in the pair is getting stronger versus the first. So that's a real simple, uh, just look at it guys. But it's really simple if you want to create a little watch list like this on the right hand side. If you just type on your chart, so again, maybe I wanted to add GBP USD. So Great British Pound versus the US dollar. It's a pair that we trade quite a bit. Um, 
in uh, the Forex markets, one of the major pairs. And, you know, if I wanted to add this to my watch list, I can do it one of two ways. I can either right click the chart or double click it and I can add to watch list right here or I could come over here, click this little plus symbol and I can add it to my list that way. And once you guys have any currency pair in your list, you can grab them, drop them, you know, organize them however you want to organize them. Um, and over here on the left hand side is your drawing toolbar. So this is where you can draw anything on your chart. So here obviously you have uh, your different line tools, right? So maybe I want to draw a trend line right here on the chart from A to B and create a little trend line, right? Maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want to uh, put a horizontal line uh, right here. You know, I could do that. And if I wanted to just take my little draw brush, you know, make some scribbles. Uh, if I wanted to put some text on the, uh, on the chart, I could do that as well. You can literally do uh, so much with this drawing toolbar. You can measure moves, you know, from a high to a low. Uh, or vice versa and you guys will you know as you play around with these tools you'll get really really good at using them and marking up charts um, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was how you can actually trade from TradingView directly uh, without actually needing to open a MetaTrader if uh, you are unable to or don't want to or just want to practice uh, by doing this with even fake money. So if you guys come down here, as you guys can see, this says paper trading. So paper trading just means basically a demo account um, with fake money or paper trading, right? So what I want to show you guys is I'm in a couple of trades right now, as you guys can see, but I'm going to log out of this and just show you what you'll see when you first uh, open a trading view account, you'll see this list of brokers, right? And these are all brokers that you can actually open an account with, put money in them to trade live. And you could, if you wanted, connect them to trading view to trade live right on trading view. Um, now these brokers do different things. Some of them are for crypto. Some of them are specifically for futures. Um, and then there's a couple specifically just for Forex. So if you were trading just Forex only, you'd be looking at Oanda or Forex.com, both US regulated brokers um, that you can use, um, whether it's right away or whether it's at some point in the future when you're ready. But what you can do in the meantime, if you wanna practice, is you can use paper trading. So you come here, click connect, and boom, it'll automatically create your paper trading account for you. And as you guys can see, like I said, I'm already in a couple of trades here because I took these just to um, you know, show you guys some stuff on how to use this. But if I were to come down here or come back up to the chart and look for a trade, for an example, I can place a trade one of two ways. Now I could do buy or sell market execution, right where price is at by clicking these buttons, um, buy by market, sell by market. And if I click either of these two buttons, it's going to put me in a trade right at where price is. But let's say I wanted to buy, um, you know, I wanted to buy Euro, I'm sorry, GBP USD, which is the pair round. What if I wanted to buy it after we get down to this line or once we get down to this line? If I wanted to do that, what I could do is I could right click or double click the, the, the chart and I could scroll down here to trade and I could either click buy, which it'll put me in a limit order right there when I click this and it'll put me in the trade right when it gets down there. Um, or I could create new order and here's what I could do. Now, I know that this blue line is at 1.22360. So what I could do is I could make that match up, right? 1.22360. And I want to put a take profit and I want to put a stop loss. And um, it's really simple to calculate your risk for this trade. We teach to use proper risk management for every trade, which usually means you should be risking about 1% to up to 3% per trade on your account and obviously this is in units so it's really easy to figure out how many units you should be risking each trade to do that so let's say that you had a one thousand dollar account right if you had a one thousand dollar account and you were to risk let's just say one percent that'd be ten dollars right so um you would put ten dollars here and that will actually give you the automatic amount of units but maybe you want to risk 3%, then you just type in $30. And that'll give you, again, the automatic number of units. Obviously, you have to figure out where you want your stop loss to be. Let's just say we want our stop loss to be right here at 1.222. I would change this, obviously, to 1.222. And you can see, uh, if I turn this back on, my bad, that our 
stop loss actually got smaller because it was 25 pips. Now it's only 16 pips. And you could do the same thing with your take profit. But just for sake of this example, I still want to risk the same $30, but my units went up because I'm going to be able to actually make more for having a tighter stop loss if this goes in my favor because uh, I'm actually going to have a, a bigger position. And these are all things that you'll get used to over time, guys. But I'm going to go place this order just to show you guys. So you guys can see now I have a buy limit set right here at this line. My stop loss is right here and my take profit is up here. So if price comes down here, hits this, it's going to put me in the trade. If price continues to fall through, it'll hit my stop loss, take me out of the trade. No big deal. Just lost the $30 that I risked, but price goes up, hits take profit. That'll be a $140 gain for a $30 risk. That's beautiful trading. So um, that's how this works. You can also drag and drop these stop losses. Like if I wanted to you know, increase my stop loss a little bit, give myself more room. I could do that easily just right on the chart. It tells you exactly the dollar amount as you're moving it. Same with your take profit. Um, so it's really, really cool. And if I wanted to just close this before entering the trade, I could just cancel the order uh, just like that. It'll take you out. And then for trades that you are in already, it's really simple to close them. If you just click this X, it will take you out of the trade and you will be uh, securing your profit or cutting your losses instantly from wherever that trade was placed so hopefully this helps guys and uh like i said bookmark this get used to playing with it mess around with it um get some practice with it and this will be like i said your lifeline and your best friend from uh from this point forward